everybody. We'll just wait and sit back and listen to this music while everybody comes in. The music I'm playing is by Stephen Rhodes called Divine Surrender. So let's just take a breath and settle back. Lovely to see you coming in. Good morning. Good morning everyone. I was getting lost looking out the window, the beautiful sunny sky here in Surrey. So good morning everyone on the 19th of February and you are all very welcome to the virtual Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary and my name is Tara if you don't know me already. So wherever you are in the world, if you're watching us live or on catch up, it is wonderful to have you with us. So let's just take a breath and sit back. Closing your eyes and focusing on your breath. Breathing in through your nose 
and out through your mouth. And just allow your thoughts to come and to go. But as you settle back, just notice how you're feeling today. Right here, right now. And just breathing into that feeling. As you invite your mind and your body to just relax, to just let go of whatever is going on in your world. As you feel your feet on the ground, connected to Mother Earth, breathing in light and breathing out love. Breathing in light and breathing out love as we raise our heart's vibrations as you begin to just feel a little bit more relaxed. As we sit together across the world in this healing circle this morning, imagining a beautiful candle in the center of our room as we now prepare for our healing minute. We give thanks that we are gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. And then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. The great invocation from the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into human hearts. May the coming one return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human wills, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. We ask now that all the peoples whose names that we hold in the distant healing folder, in the sanctuary chapel and in all the healing books throughout the world, may they receive healing for their highest good. 
This is a very special place for us all now to reflect and to send out our own distant healing thoughts to our own family, friends, the animal kingdom, and never forgetting to send healing to yourself. As we call in Harry Edwards, his spirit team, our spirit team, and the angelic realms, may they all be placed in the healing light and receive which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. We will now have our minute silence. May God bless you. Amen. Our thanks and blessings for all your wonderful healing energies here today. And also we thank our friends in spirit. So the notices for today. Every Thursday, the choir meet at one o'clock in the chapel, in the sanctuary chapel. And there will be another guided meditation with John Phillips on Thursday the 23rd of February. That will be at two o'clock on Zoom. And if you'd like to enjoy a peaceful meditation in the comfort of your home, please do join John at two o'clock on Thursday. In the evening of the 23rd, there will be another In Conversations with Healers at 7.30 and Alison this time will be talking with Kim Vincent. Kim is a change facilitator, trainer and healer. On the 1st of March, we have another open healing circuit, circle at 7.30 and this is on Zoom, where everyone will be involved in both giving and receiving healing. Details of all these activities are on Facebook or on our Harry Edwards Healing, Harry Edwards website. So today, I'd love to read you a little bit about rainbows. Rainbows are one of the many beautiful, magical, breathtaking aspects of nature that just makes you stop just for a moment and simply admire the beauty of it. You can't help smile at a rainbow. And sometimes it feels like it's placed in the sky just for you, exactly at the time you need it. Do you remember those days when you were a child and you would paint a rainbow and all the colors would just run all together and go all brown and messy? I believe a rainbow brings hope and change. It also reminds me to be grateful for all my blessings. And it's so important to take time to close your eyes and just take a breath and thank the universe for all those special things you have in your life. 
And don't just be grateful for the big things. Be grateful for the little blessings in your life. And maybe now, just take a moment and ask yourself, what am I grateful for today? The Rainbow, written by Rebecca Shama. There was a little girl who loved the rain. She danced in the drops as they landed on her skin. She skipped rope in the puddles. She stretched, stretched her arms out and spun around with her mouth open to let the water tickle her tongue. One day, while the girl was twisting and turning underneath the raindrops, a beautiful rainbow lit up her path. She had always heard there was a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. She did not see a pot of gold. She saw light streaks of many colours, red, blue, yellow and pink. And while the little girl was looking at the colours of the rainbow, it turned into a bridge. She began to walk towards the bridge that was all bright and shiny. She danced across the bridge and disappeared into the red, blue and yellow rays. In that town, you can hear people talk about that little girl who loved the rain. You can also hear them talk about the bridge that leads to heaven. The little girl crossed the bridge and on a rainy day when the sun peeks through the clouds, you can hear her, see her dancing, swirling, grinning. You can, if you just look. The Rainbow Bridge By the edge of the woods, at the foot of a hill, is a lush green meadow where time stands still, where the friends of man and woman do run when their time on earth is over and done. For here, between this world and the next, is a place where each beloved creature finds rest. On this golden land, they wait and they play till the rainbow bridge they cross over one day. No more do they suffer in pain or in sadness, for here they are whole, their lives filled with gladness. Their limbs are restored their health renewed, their bodies have healed with strength imbued. They romp through the grass without even a care until one day they start and sniff the air. All ears pricked forward, eyes dart front and back. Then all of a sudden one breaks from the pack. For just at that instant, their eyes have met, together again, both person and pet. So they run to each other, these friends from long past. The time of their parting is over at last. The sadness they felt while they were apart, has turned into joy once more in each heart. They embrace with love that will last forever, and then, side by side, they cross over together. A little poem called My Rainbow by Sue Whitehead. I saw a rainbow yesterday, it shone so bright and clear. I thought just for a moment, is that an angel song I hear? It stood proudly in the heavenly skies above, 
its message very clear just now. It was sending our angels love. The sight was quite haunting, not grim, nor aching, nor sad. It cautioned me to be grateful for the treasures that you've had. I felt it tell me a story and its moral was to show the love and peace of heaven in colour in the beauty of the rainbow. A rainbow blessing. May flowers always line your path and sunshine light your day. May songbirds serenade you every step along the way. May a rainbow run beside you in a sky that's always blue. And may happiness fill your heart each day, your whole life through. So please do continue to contact us in the normal way. The sanctuary is open every single day and we can also send healing through Skype, Zoom or over the telephone. Remember, wherever you are, we are always here for you. And of course, I really want to end this gorgeous healing minutes with you all today with the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow. But this version is sung by Bella Goldwyn. Thank you for joining me today. And keep looking up as there may be a rainbow out there just waiting for you. Or maybe you just need to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. such a beautiful song. I was thinking of my own gorgeous dog that I lost last year and I see many of you have also lost your beautiful animals. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next Sunday. Have a beautiful Sunday. Goodbye for now.